Hello everybody, and welcome to FTL. This game has been out for, well, a while now. It's almost been a year. It's been a year. Now it's been, it's been about a year actually. And, um, I've just started, I haven't just started playing it, I've been playing it for a while now, but this is going to be the first time I'm recording it. Um, for those of you who couldn't tell, this is Slender Hunter Dude. You probably don't know who that is, but that's okay. Not many people do. Only close friends and unfortunate strangers who stumbled upon my channel, but now I'm back as Cracker Zack. <laughs> oh, that, that rhymed. Whatever. But, I am terrible at this game. I'm not even going to bother naming the people, they're all going to die. Anyway. Um, I I haven't beaten the game before, but let's just dive right into it. Alright. The data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. But get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up. Tip. Fire. If fire is spreading, consider opening air locks and doors to vent the oxygen from parts of your ship. Fire is quickly extinguished within O2. Oh, within the oxygen tanks, okay. Why is... The engine is turned on, why can't we jump? Oh, we... What, what? Oh, there's no one in the... Yeah, there is. What's going on? Are you afraid to drive the ship? Come on, we need to get going. You go deal with shields, then. Oh my, is it frozen? Oh my. I don't think it's listening to me. Oh, I had it... I had it paused. I... <laughs> for the love of God, this is gonna be a long play. I'm gonna try and beat the game in one video. Probably not gonna beat the game. If I do get destroyed, I'm gonna end it there. And maybe come back later if I really want to. But for now, let's get moving. There's an intense amount of lag. Alright, you spot a small rebel ship nearby. It seems to have been refitted for transport rather than combat. It does not seem to want to engage you and your ship. Um... Let's be an asshole. <laughs> well, you know what? I guess this is what I get. See, a smart person would have seen this coming. I did not see this coming. This is gonna take a while. My weapon's charging up, and the lag. This drone is just gonna go back and forth, pecking away at my shield as it recharges, only to be pecked away at again. Well, we don't have a drone system in here. Great. Alright, we almost have enough for an Artemis missile, rocket, cannon, whatever. Let's fire for the drone, as it's the only thing that appears to be trying. Oh, there's his laser, finally. We missed. Alright, we got both the weapons and the drones. We also dealt a lot of damage. We should try and make it to the shields now. We can get the shield down, and everything else is vulnerable until they repair it. There really is quite a simple strategy to this game. If you just knock out the shields and the weapons, then they're practically done for. Sure, you could go like wipe out the oxygen and have them slowly suffocate, but there's not really a point in doing that. It's inefficient. Oh, I have an Artemis rocket. Actually, let's see what my first laser can do by itself. Miss, and a hit. Alright, I'll finish off the shield with this. God, this lag is killing it. I really wish there was some way to make this go faster. I don't think there's 
much in the way of graphics that I can lower this. No, just get their weapons offline again. But either way, I don't think the FPS is going to be much higher than what it is already. Which, I, you, you probably can't see it right now, but it's 8. Which is terrible. I have a crappy computer. I need to get a better one. At least a better processor. All knows. Anticlimactic. Searching the remains, you find that the cargo was, mo was military grade drone schematics. You bring them aboard to install on your ship. Well, that's great, except we don't have a drone system, so I guess we'll just be selling that at the next convenience. <laughs> the drone is still floating there. Yeah. There's nothing really funny about that, but it's a little bit comical? I don't know. There are only two ships within range, and they seem to be engaged in battle. One of them has the markings of a space pirate. Let's be good guy this time. I'm just gonna throw ourselves into everything. It's gonna get us killed, of course, but this game isn't really fun unless you take risks. Because then the only combat you're getting is the combat when you're attacked. There's no fun in being attacked real life or virtual life. Any day now, the burst lasers will be ready. Oh, they have two heavy lasers. One can miss, please. You know... Alright, what is legitimately the purpose of attacking our door control? They're just gonna lock us in our rooms? Well, that's okay, we don't have any intention of going out into the ship right now. We're in the middle of a fight. It cost us our lives. Now that you know, I'm sure they'd want to go repair the door systems in the middle of it all. All this does is makes it so we can't, or I can't, I guess, manually open the doors. It'll still automatically open, like, the people can move through them and whatnot, but really stupid, inept, I don't know why they would need to do that, whatever, stupid AI will be stupid AI, let's finish them off. Ooh. It, it never lagged this bad when I was playing without fraps on. This contact the civilian ship. Alright, we're getting goodies. We have... This is actually a great start for not even have, leaving the first sector. Ugh, sector. Let me see what I can look at in the options. Frame limit. Off probably is best. Full screen requires a start. Well, I don't have that capability right now. I'm not colorblind. Dynamic backgrounds. As long as it doesn't look like crap, I mean, well, you doesn't look much different, changed, altered. Um, like I said, nothing really to change. FPS is still at eight. All right, let's fix up our doors and get on the, our way. Well, he's patching up our doors. Oh, well, I guess we don't really have anything. Let's buy two power bars. Ugh. How do you have... How do you... How, how have you done nothing? How have you learned nothing? I guess, well, there hasn't been a large demand for the shield yet. Alright, we're real early in the game, I shouldn't be saying, what, why haven't you learned anything? There isn't anything to have been learned. Well, with the extra two bars, for now I can power up the engine for a fastier escape. Fastier? <laughs> That's great. It's faster, not fastier. <laughs> 
faster, faster, faster. All right, let's let's get on our way. I'm done with this rock. Oh, I could see the lag as it zoomed out. This is just terrifying. The computer should not be running so badly with such a simple game, but whatever. Oh boy, another energy bomber. The exact same layout. I'm sure these, whoever these guys were, they were geniuses. I thought I just repaired that door. Did I make him leave early? I probably did. Get back to the doors. No, yeah. Just go back to the doors. This probably is really awkward to the enemy going into battle and seeing that the opponent has no doors. Or no control over their doors. Maybe it's not weird. Hey, it, it is weird actually. In the definition of it. Alright, is that. No, they have a rocket now. Oh, they timed it. Where's the rocket at? Oh, oh, it's going for oxygen. Get. That's, an a that's actually important. You need to go for that. Go do something about it. Alright, let's not let them do that again. I'm sure everyone on the ship would prefer if we didn't let them do that again. No! You just tried to suffocate us. I'm gonna beat the crap out of you. Alright. We got some intense lag intensity. All. This could this could be a very serious situation right now if it wasn't lagging so much. I should stop complaining about the lag and just deal with it for now. Eliz Elizabeth, you you should hurry up. We're on a. I mean, you can you're gonna suffocate, and for obvious reasons, suffocation's no good. But if you don't fix up the, okay, you know, you you go and we'll get. Enough time for that's great. I got my things. Okay, let's let's go let's go patch up the oxygen because I'm sure none of you here want to die. Death is in most cases never the answer. In most cases, right now it is not the answer. All right, more waiting. I don't imagine this can be too much fun for you guys to watch, whoever is watching. Oh, we haven't even made it to a shop yet. We haven't made it outside the sector even. Hey, if you want to come back here and take my spot so I can not die, that would be great. And... Switch route. Actually, you know, yeah, let's get this done with teamwork. Alright, you need to book it to the medical bay. And as for you, actually, you should go back too. The captain is a lazy retard. <laughs> He's just gonna sit up there in the front of the ship pushing buttons. We're going absolutely nowhere. All his crew members suffocate while they fix oxygen tanks. Alright, Elizabeth, I'm gonna go back to manning weapons. As for you, Shirai, is that Japanese? Maybe it's just some other alien name, I don't know. Mikhal is like Russian, some kind of Russian. I don't know if it's actually Russian, it's probably just like Lithuania, Latvia, kind of. I'm gonna stop rambling about names now, let's just go. <laughs> Should we go? I don't wanna go. To, I don't wanna help. <laughs> Fine, go help. It's probably just gonna be some punk and he's gonna take my stuff. He's gonna try. I'm actually doing pretty well. I'm not dead. It's always a good sign. 
Okay, you locate the source of the distress call, a nearby human mining colony. An unknown disease has spread vir virulu virulently among the workers. They are trying to set up a quarantine to mitigate my mitigate mitigate the spread of the disease, but lack any enforcement. A riot seems likely. Okay, we sent people over. With the visible threat of your weapons, the infected become subdued enough for you to set up a rudimentary quarantine. However, before you leave, one of your crew member, one of your crew presents signs of infection. You have no choice but to leave them on the station in hopes that they discover it here quickly. You leave before more crew succumb. Well, it's only this is the captain. <laughs> I feel so bad that the captain actually deserved that. Well, now we just need to move up someone. And I have to say, the weapons are important, but the shields are probably much more important. If it was up to me, there wouldn't need to be a pilot. It would, it would all have been autopilot. Autopiloted. That was a waste of my time. I don't think I got a single thing from that. Let's get out of here. Alright. Let's not waste any time, we've been here already. Come on. We're gonna have to power through this. Alright. Here we are. The long range beacon number one. I'm not bad on fuel right now. Wait, ship refueling is... yeah, we don't need fuel right now. 14 should serve us for a good long while. Well, here, let me plot out our course. The easiest course would... seems to be the energy control sector, as it would be green, 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 red, then green, green, red. There's that nebula. The, there's only one nebula, which is great. I mean, I hate nebulas. <laughs> Let's just go. Alright, we're going to the NG-controlled sector, because the pirate-controlled sector, overall, or further down the line, would have had more enemy-controlled territories to pass through. We don't really want to risk that. We have arrived in NG space. The fall of the Federation has brought tough times for these robotic life forms, but they're usually willing to help. Alright. Let's go see who's willing to help. Let's just go straight for the beacon, though. Otherwise, all right. The NG seem to have avoided this particular node along with every other life form. Keep your eyes peeled for reasons why, but spin up the FTL without event. Alrighty then, let's just now oh, store. Finally, we can do some shopping. We got 94 pieces of scrap. That's actually a good amount. Let's get right to business. We don't have time for dilly dally. Remarkable things. You can do, they can do remarkable things with just a pile of scrap. You gotta be kidding me. I don't want to. Oh, God. I don't want to use missiles. Missiles are a bad thing to latch on to, in my opinion, anyway. Because it's just another cost you have to constantly be aware of. Oh. Uh, what do we have? Hole repair? Automatically repairs 3 to 5 damage to your hole. Your own part is consumed once it finishes. That's actually... Sounds pretty good. I'm gonna buy the drone control, as it's just a good thing to have in general. Now, I can take off... This... I really don't need that in the first place, and we'll use one of our drone parts. A defense drone. It came with a defense drone. I did not see that coming, and I just wasted a drone part. This has been a complete waste of time. Let's buy drone, another drone part. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Can we move this into here? Yes, we can. Let's just go now, before I make a bigger idiot of myself. Um, I guess the distress path is on the way. Might as well. 
this point. We have a need for money. Scrap, I guess. I don't know why they use scrap metal instead of actual currency, or maybe they do use currency and they just nicknamed it scrap. scrap. You follow the distress beacon to a small asteroid belt. You find a small ship struggling to maneuver through the field. They message you, help, our shields are down, and I don't know how much longer we can last. Well, we have a special defense drone option here from the recently purchased drone system, and uh, I don't see why not. Let's use that. Lose one drone part. How did we get injured? Oh, I sent the... Your drone succeeds in keeping the their ship from breaking apart while they fix it. However, you take some damage while attempting to leave the asteroid field. They offer you some military supplies as thanks for saving them. 32 scrap. You lose one drone part from the drone going in and a weapon. A heavy ion. Alright. Oh, we need more system power. Jeez. Weapon system power is very expensive. Let's just... Alright, we're almost to the exit already. This one has gone by much faster. I would use the whole repair drones as we're going through this, but I have literally one drone part. And I really don't want to waste it on something as... Uh expandable as a heal right now because we really don't need it. We can last for a good long while. The oxygen hasn't even completely refilled the ship in the ship yet from when we got attacked. We can't really buy anything. I guess we'll just go. Unless we magically find like 50 scrap in this long range beacon. Which I doubt is going to happen. You've arrived at the long range beacon when the FDL drive. Oh, it's gonna say that every time. You spot a small rebel ship nearby. It seems to have been refitted for tra. Okay. Well, I learned my lesson after last time we encountered this scenario, so let's just move to the Zoltan homeworlds. Alright, we're making good prog. No, we're doing okay. I mean. We could be doing a lot better, but we're doing okay. You arrive in Do Zoltan. Blech. You arrive in Zoltan space. From what you have heard, they anticipated the coming war and made preparations to hold their borders. So the Zoltans are sidekicks, or are they just really smart? Either way, it's pretty cool. Being smart is cool, and being psychic is somewhat cool. Unless you're one of the weird kind of psychics. Like the gypsy types. Oh boy. A Zoltan ship makes contact. The nature of the day is rotational. The fever is emaciated. Emaci emaciated. The reason is bland. They've caught some nasty deep space dementia. Before you can consider finding help for them, they open fire. Oh, they have an energy shield. Let's go for the weapons, as usual. Actually, let's even power up the defense drone, why not? It appears they're using only missile weapons anyway. So, the defense drone is built for shooting down missiles. But now we are out of drone parts, and whatever shall we do? Well, first we'll wait for something to happen. Are they gonna fire up? Oh, they take the first shot. No, oh, that's an ion. Can we don't I don't think we can block ions with the defense drone. I guess we're just gonna have to deal with it. That shuts down our shield, but then we shut down their missile. Then we fire our missile, and then our lasers. We have to break through the stinking shield before we can actually deal some damage. That's just sad. We we oh. Did the missile even hit? Did it miss? I didn't see it miss. This is... really... Mm, vexious. Our shields are still ionized and this... Sh Shirai is derping around in the shield room. Well, let's... Alright, yeah, I guess I did. Thank you for that. 
Alright, now we're actually getting somewhere. We are causing actual damage to their ship. Are they... Oh no, I shut down their weapons. I thought they were preparing to leave. That would be funny, because I wouldn't allow them to do that. Let's actually shoot their engines out so they can't leave. It's a cruel thing to do, but it's... Uh, it's a tactic, an effective tactic for right now. Alright, here goes the Artemis missile. I'm pretty sure if this hits, it should knock him out. Nope. We're, they're on the brink of destruction. Everything is offline for them. Finish him off with the burst lasers. One shot. Two overkill. Three for overkill. Alright. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Oh boy, a drone part. Oh boy, we need st we need 50 to be able to use the heavy ion in combination with the rest of our weapons. But if we do run out of missiles, then I can take out the Artemis missile, and we'll have enough power in the system and in the ship and hold to power the I heavy ion cannon in substitution for the Artemis missile, which is good. So right now I could actually apply power to the engine, but I don't want to do that because we still need power for the drones, if we need the drones, if and when we need the drones. An NG scout, and the NGs were cool. You jump into a debris field that used to be a Zoltan cruiser, unfortunately its NG escort takes you for the attacker and retaliates through the refuse all hindrance. Mm. This is going to be a difficult fight. The NGs always have drone systems on their ships. Always. Now this one only has one drone, and it's a defense drone. But I mean, it looks like it has a whole beam and a Mark 1 burst laser, or a burst laser 1, whatever you want to call it. Mark 1 sounds so more, so much more official. It's just so much more cooler. Let's, let's try and... Oh no. Don't fire that, actually, I'm kidding. Don't do that. Fire the Artemis missile, it's just gonna shoot it down. So we'll have to wait for the burst lasers to fire, take out the drone system, and then we can, well, go from there. Depending on if it actually makes it to the drone system to shut it down. Ah, uh, yes, it worked. Take it out. Leave no survivors. Ah, we made it. We've damaged both their weapons and their drones. Yeah. All they have is their burst laser. Or their... Yeah, their burst laser, I guess. Um, 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 what to fire at next? Oh, let's go for the shields. Actually, no, let's go for the drones. We want to get that out of the picture. Then we can go for the shields. Come on, Burst Laser, we're counting on you. One shot, two shot, it's in the red. Go for the shields. While they're down, come on, you can finish it right here, or not. You can just kind of shrug it off. Ah, oh, the missile did enough damage to send it out. Come on, I don't need, I don't, I don't care about free hats right now. This is FTL time, not TF2 time. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. That's did not did we not get one fuel, one missile, and thirty-two scraps one time? I don't know. I'm probably making that up. Ugh. I was I'm pretty sure we got that same amount of items one time. That was our first encounter with an NG scout in this playthrough, though. An unarmed Zoltan transport vessel is slowly making its way toward the beacon. Here. <laughs> they hail, this is a Zoltan peace, and boy, we carry no weapons or shielding and rely on the mercy of others to communicate our message. Alright, let's hear what you have to say. They continue, we take your silence for interested contemplation. 
They talk at length about peace and harmony, but either it's beyond your simple mind or it's all nonsense. They finish. Please spread the world of enlightenment. Please, please, comma, spread the world of enlightenment to those that have not heard. Once you have, contact our brethren. They transmit coordinates to of their so-called brethren. Well, we got a quest. Quests are fun. You do quests in Skyrim, Fallout, and just about any open world game. So, let's go do this quest. And you know what happens after quests. A boss fight. Or rewards. Or both. I would hope both. It's much more interesting that way. You arrive at the, you arrive at the location specified by the peace-loving Zoltan, but the only thing nearby is a rebel ship closing in fast. We've found you. You're not getting away this time. Attempt to hail them. They open communications. I can't imagine there's anything you could say that will save you. The rebellion must destroy those that are still loyal to the obsolete federation. I don't know if obsolete is the word, but perhaps there could be a reconciliation of our ideas or of our ideals without war. Surrender. Your ultimate destruction is inevitable. We've left scores of rebels destroyed in our wake. Your rebellion is causing millions of deaths. Your beliefs are dividing the galaxy. Unity is the only option. Perhaps. Let's just be. Our ideals are too different to be so easily reconciled. You think this could end any way but war? The galaxy is huge. You can find a place for your ideals elsewhere without causing this destruction. True progress can only be achieved without bloodshed. That's just gonna piss him off. Number two. Let's just go with this. All right. I guess we piss him off anyway. I have a feeling that was the only way. Let's. They don't have anything special go for the weapons, then for the shields, or the shields first, and then the weapons, whichever comes first. You sure are taking your time thinking about what to do next, Rebel Fighter. I'll give you that. What? Oh, the first shot has been fired. I believe that's just a heavy laser, so it's going to do one damage to our shield. But then they fired something else at our engine. 75%? That's not much of a warning. I mean, it's nothing to warn about. I'm not saying the warning was deficient, but... Alright, we managed to land one hit. What is up with that? We need to be landing at least, like, three points of damage every time we shoot. If we shoot three burst lasers that do two dam or one damage each and a missile that shoots for two damage, then that would make five damage total, which means we only hit with one shot there of the burst laser. It's that's sad guys. Let's get let's get this together. Alright. Fire to Artemis missile at the shield, penetrate the shield, destroy the shield. Now with the burst lasers. You kidding me? Okay. That just about that just about made me lose it. Actually no, I probably wouldn't have lost it. If this game is a pretty calm game, it's difficult to lose your temper with it. I'm also not one to get mad while playing video games. I mean, you play video games to escape reality, and the reason you want to escape reality is because it's so stressful, or it's boring, but you're not having any fun if you're mad at the game, so obviously, you should be playing it for fun. The enemy ship appears to be powering up its FTL, it's trying to escape. Well, if we can have... oh wait, yeah, just fire at the engine, see what they have to say about that. Come on, lasers. I just about called them bullets. They're absolutely not bullets. Take everything we have, just don't kill us. No, I, I actually tried to communicate with you. I, I don't wanna, no. We're just, we're gonna, we're gonna destroy you. So, um, you can sit there and take it like a man, or you can cry and weep and shrivel up into a ball. I, I don't know what you would do from there. You're a ship in space. There's not a lot for you to do at this point in time before your demise. Demise. Not demise. Alright, here it goes. 
killing blow at the head of the ship. There it goes. With all its lag-induced explosions. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. <laughs> Excuse me. Alright. Shirai, you should go repair the engine. Wow. Elizabeth drives the ship into nothing. Well, we've we got a lot of extra scrap now. Let's beef up our weapons so we can have the heavy ion running in unison with the Artemis missiles. All right, we're getting somewhere now. Actually, we'll also get two power bars so we can activate a drone when it is necessary to do so. How long are you going to take to repair that engine? You know, don't even answer, I'll just send Elizabeth over anyway. <coughs> mm. This is moving pretty slow. Not the game. Well, yeah, the game is moving slow, but the flow of it. There's a lot of waiting to be done. It makes sense, like, if in combat you should have a penalty when things get destroyed for you to repair them. It'll take a while, but outside of combat, I think it only makes sense for it to repair instantly instead of having you sit there and kind of crank away at the floor <laughs> like they do. All right, everyone walk back to your stations. You can take your time. Make sure to stop by the snack shack. Buy all your space, space inspired treats and snacks. Okay, let's just, let's go. Where to now? An unvisited location, why not? Oh, we're starting to run low on fuel, with only three left. At the next convenience, buy fuel. As if this combat isn't the- I called it, when you play that kind of music, it can only mean one thing. It's, shit's about to get real. Oh no, they have a teleporter. This is gonna end badly. This is the bane of... Alright. You think you're so cool, Maxim? Let's duke it out. Mono e mono. JK, we're gonna send the captain in two to punch you out. They sent one person over, which is it's kind of insulting. They thought they could overthrow an entire ship with one person. Alright, let's get down to business. This the I heavy ion in this actually no it's not. It's just taking way too long to charge up. Ooh, do they have, oh, they have two of the same beam. That's harsh. Look at all that. Look at all that we just did. I'm sure he's not happy with that, because he I means he ain't coming back. Alright, we shut down their weapons. I don't know how the long the heavy ion lasts. Two ion damage. I'm, that makes it two rings around the weapons icon. It's two rings that'll have to perspire. Um... How else can we mess with them? Oh, you need to get to the medical bay, and you need to get back to driving the freaking ship. No, the ship, not the drone control. So, I did just launch a missile. Things went well. Those beams cannot penetrate shields. Except, no, I don't feel like it. I feel like killing you. Don't take it the I, you can take it the wrong way. I guess I honestly don't care if you take it offensively or not. Ion doesn't deal any damage because Ion is trash. It's not trash, but it's certainly not laser or missiles. 
Which, I'm just gonna wait for the burst lasers. There's no reason not to. These guys have one weapon left that cannot pierce through our- Whoa, 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 is there f How long has there been fire? Did the fire just start now? Did- Am I the only one who had no idea my ship was on fire? Well, let's- First order of business, put out the fire. It's usually not good when your ship catches on fire. Come on. It's just fi- it, It's just spreading. At this point, we're gonna just have you exit, and we'll try that oxidize the area tip the game gave us in the beginning. Let's just hope and pray it doesn't develop the ship and we all suffocate. Or suffocate while burning. Wouldn't that be fun? Come on. I opened up the doors so you'd put out the fire and all it's doing is sitting there and letting it wreak havoc on the ship. You're gonna shut down Oh, you already shut down my heavy ion. Now you're gonna shut down my burst lasers. Come on, man. Come on. Come on! I don't have time for this. The world is... Actually, I don't know. We're just delivering a message, aren't we? We're just a little capital ship. Yeah, we really aren't doing anything that important, I guess. I mean... Maybe, maybe it's important to our cause, but in terms of the world... Alright. You think you can't breathe, you're correct. Have no fear. There's... Oxygen circulating throughout the ship. Now, there wasn't before if we had to put out the fire. Using extreme methods... Oh, let's turn the ion back on. I don't know why we need to do it now, but come on. What do you mean? No oh, he's still repairing the weapons. Okay. And then I guess we can wait. We can wait. Wait, we can. Are we almost ready? No, we still have a few more bars of weapons to repair. Come on, pilot. You need to go help out, too. You can't just sit back there and pretend you're doing stuff all day. Because in reality, you're not doing anything back there. We all know your secrets, pilot. Sit up there and play pawn. Something unoriginal. On your little, I can't. It's probably not even a computer. That's why he's playing Pong on it. Anything else would have like an emulator. Be playing something cool like Super Mario Bros. or Earthbound. No, he's playing Pong. All right, let's get back to our stations again. Actually, you need to heal. If all, if all our crew die then the ship is just left to float in space. For obvious reasons, that can't happen because... That, well, I shouldn't say it can't happen, it could happen, but we don't want that to happen because we can't drive anything without anyone to drive. Alright, after long last, we're making it to the exit of the Zoltan homeworlds. Ah, look at all of this. Never seen this background before. Never, I swear. If you can't tell, that was intense sarcasm. You arrive near a damaged and dil dilapidate dilapidated space station. It appears to be abandoned, but you detect faint life signatures on board. Board the station and look for survivors. Why not? Human corpses are scattered across the station. You find the source of the signal, a lone survivor that locked themselves in a storage cell. Quickly retreat with them and tow back to the ship and hope they can recover enough to be of some use. Oh, so we got a new crew member. Congratulations, Ma Fan. Ma Fan? You mean like Muffin? Muffin Muffin? Does anyone. Am I, am, I, am I the only one seeing this? 
Moffin Muffin? What kind of culture has that name? It sounds like... Tribal. It really does. Actually, it sounds a bit Cantonese. Ma. I should say Chinese. I'm not a Chinese cultural expert. I don't know if it's Cantonese or Mandarin or whatever. Um, let's go to the Zoltan, Zoltan controlled home. So oh, it's just the sector. They just control it. All right, whatever. It's not their home world. It's just cool. Although, given we were just in the home worlds, this couldn't be the. Oh no! You can't surprise Nebula me. I don't want to be surprised Nebula right now. Zoltan territory. The species is not renowned for giving anything for giving anything for nothing, but you can always be assured a fair hearing. Yeah, there's a lot of fair hearings when I was attacked back in their home worlds. Oh, and just in time, that store room. Deathly low on fuel. Why haven't you turned on yet? Yeah, whatever. Alien knickknack shop here. Oh boy. That's, yeah, I don't want to buy people, really. Cloaking would be nice, but uh, for obvi obviously I can't afford it. Um, should we buy another per? Yeah, I guess we could use another person. Just buy a human, so we can use the rest for fuel. All right, where's our slave? Go work in the engines, slave. Come on, slave. Stop avoiding my clicks. You know you love the engines. You know... Should I even wait for him? I don't know if I should. Look how fast we've escalated to a full crew. We have all our stations occupied, or all the occupiable stations occupied. Sure, you could sit someone in the oxygen tank's chamber, but they wouldn't do anything. They wouldn't speed up anything. they just stand there and do nothing. Oh, there's another store! If I'd known that, I wouldn't have spent all my m money on a person. There's probably better things here. Weapons, or drones, or something that I don't have or could use. You can really use anything right now. Human ship hails my friends. Please, there is nothing I don't have, and there is nothing worth w wanting that I can't get. Why not take a look around my ship? See? See, these are, this is what I'm talking about. We could have gotten one of these. Ones that actually do stuff. Actually. Ooh. I don't know if I, it's worth the whole repair, though. I mean, is the whole repair even that good compared to, like, one that actually attacks? Yeah, let's just... Which one now? Oh. Well, we don't have any beam weapons. So, I... I'll go with beam, I guess. I'm probably gonna regret this decision later on, but whatever. Let's go. Even with all the fuel we purchased from that place, we're still running low on it. Despite their precautions, pirates have begun to harass their, the local Zo Zoltan settlements across the sector. One such pirate spots your ship and moves into attack. What a jerk. He has no idea who I am. Let's just beat the crap out of him and show him who's boss. He has a bunch of single shot weapons on this ship. He has three single shot weapons. It makes sense if you have like a small ship with like one single shot weapon because then you probably can't afford it. With these three things, I'm sure you could afford at least like a missile launcher or something that can break through my shield. Actually, these two will fire at the same time, so they may get through the shield. Actually, uh, the heavy laser will charge the fastest. I'm almost sure of that. Yeah, there it goes. Actually. Oh, see, there's that, and then those two are gonna come in while my shield is down. That was a pretty low tech. Are you kidding me? How would you even?
How would you go about missing that? Missile, you silly son of a gun. Take out the weapons. Resist? What do you mean, resist? They put up a special barrier around one room? Seems inefficient. Show them not to mess with me. Um. Yeah, let's choke them. See, this is what I was talking about. Right now, we're just being cruel. Why do they have their main area in the middle of their ship? How can you can't see out anywhere around the ship? Let's attack the medical bay. Most ships, most opposing ships, don't even have a medical bay. This is news to me. There really isn't anything else to fire on, so I'll just go back to the oxygen pumps iodized. Iodized, iodized. One or the other. <laughs> ionized. Ionized? Maybe. Ionized actually sounds about right. To me, anyway, it sounds about right. Alright. Let's finish this up. Pew, pew, pew. Oh no, it's too late for you. We already shot. You're going down. Remember the name, Zach Luchin. You are in heaven. Actually, you're going to hell. You're pirates. You should have regretted this terribly. Ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Those. Alright, let's get to the exit because we really don't have any fuel to spare. A message broadcast from a nearby planet announces the presence of a Zol an ancient Zoltan monastery available for visiting. Likely just a tourist trap, but still too bad you don't have the time to visit it. Well, you know, I'm gonna go visit it, wherever it is. Oh, it's nearby. I guess, so. We can't visit it. That would be a nice little, I guess, not really an easter egg, but a side mission quest thing. You've arrived at the long-range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. Sexter. Sector, not sexter. That's like the third time in this video. A ship refueling station is stationed at this beacon. We can purchase fuel here. Oh. Yes, give me fuel. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm 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 oh. Okay. First hostile sector. On a wing and a prayer. Oh. I'm great at achieving things by accident. I don't even know what I got that for. There was a wrench and a no sign over it. <laughs> You've entered a poorly charted area of space that's known to be home to the mantis. Ensure your hole plating is up to scratch and that you have enough fuel in the tank to make it through. Got seven. I'm sure we could power through it, right? Stop by the store though. Can't be superfluous in this case. The rebels are here. The crew braces for impact, but none comes. The sensors report that unmanned rebel supply ship is malfunctioning and is stuck in vending mode for a little scrap. You can take your pick. Huh. Well, you know, I'm just so poor that I can't afford any of that, so... Shoot. Let's repair up to there. I need to save. Alright, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, 
Oh boy, never seen this planet background before. This is brand new, guys. You should take note of all the blue in the background. This beacon is being patrolled by an unmanned scout. The fight is unavoidable. The ship starts to power up its FTL drive. If it gets si what? What the heck are you talking about? We just got in the fight. How we? How am I expected to, to get the beam drone over there? Then. I guess. I mean, I don't know. He's just throwing it out at me. He, the minute we show up, he's like, "Oh no, I'm done. Let's, we're getting out of here." Okay, beam drone, don't fail us. You're expected to beam the stuff that you need to beam so that they can't. Where'd you go? Get back! Oh, you're going around. I see. Did you seriously just fire at one room the whole time? Can't you fire at multiple with the beams? Isn't that why they're special beams? Beams are cool. Does it seriously only have an ion? That is sad. You know. Come on, beam. You better hope that missile gets there in time. You better hope that missile gets there in time. Ah, it did. Ah, uh, now everything's going wrong for them. How, how magical. And now they're left defenseless. Finish them off, beam drone. Well, while you're doing nothing at the shields, you can go repair the medical bay. Would you look at that? Fire everywhere. You can stop attacking the scrap now beam drone their ship breaks apart and you feel relief from the knowledge that you will hopefully still be one step ahead of the fleet yeah one step ahead well, I guess we're just waiting around for who is this Shirai to Shirai to repair to medical bay Maffin Maffin the more I say it, the more it starts sounding like muffin. Maffin. 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 Alright. We can. We're gonna have to wait this out. Are you done tapping buttons for now? No? Okay, you keep tapping the buttons then. Heal up, she rise. You probably won't get the chance to later. Okay, make your way back to the shield station. And let's make our way, as a whole, to over in the exit area. Hmm. Alright. Here we are. Yeah, that planet kind of looks like Earth in the background. You know, I kind of need missiles, actually. Oh, wow, that's a long jump, but I ain't complaining. I can get there faster. Running low on fuel again. The Mantis hail you. Their captain says, I claim this vessel for my clan. Good hunting. Sha sha. This is my vessel now. I will take it for my own experiments. Alright, let's just... I guess we're being hunt... Did they warp up? Oh, they do have a teleporter. Oh, there it is. There they are. Let's just... I don't know. Let's beat the crap out of their... Flippin'... Oh, no. Oh no, not Muffin. No, you can't have Muffin. Muffin is too cool. <laughs> what a um... You two. We can't let them destroy our shields. Or our weapons. Because if they do, then... Well, we're defenseless. Actually, speaking of defense... Do they have... No, they don't have any missiles. Use their beam drone then. This is probably the biggest battle we have faced the whole game. Uh, I think we punk poked a hole in their shield. 
that room is turning into a war zone. Things are gonna get terrible over there. Whoa, whoa, things are exploding! Listen to that music! Every, the game knows things are intense. Well, you know, this looks like the end, um... Oh, we survived! You know, you deserve a reward. Elizabeth, get out of the fire! Standing in fire leads to burning. It is common knowledge. Oh, maybe common for the... Sane. Don't worry, Muffin, we will preserve your muffiny life. Oh dear lord. Oh dear lord. Oh lord, lord. We are defenseless right now. Repair the drone systems. Because if we do that, then hopefully we can make a beam drone. Oh, the beam drone's never gonna chip through that, that shield. Look at what they've done! Shields completely offline, engines completely offline, weapons completely offline, drones were completely, uh, it's not completely offline. Um, they've shut down the subsystem, or piloting subsystem. What is that yellow? Oh, it's just showing what I've selected. There it is, guys. Can you see it in the front of the ship? It's yellow. And it looks kind of like a steering wheel. Maybe it's because where you pilot the ship. It's where you pilot the ship. Well, you know what? You just took away all that progress. If we don't do something about the fire, our ship is going to explode. As if it wasn't exploding already. Well, now Muffin's in... Oh, God, you know? It's one of those moments where you just... You don't know what to do next. Here. Put out the fires with the magic of not oxygen. <laughs> Alright, you get out. Breathing is necessary. Oh no, wait, oh no, the burst lasers, oh, oh god, oh jeez, oh no, oh, Elizabeth and Maffin, and Maffin and Elizabeth and Elizabeth and Maffin and, ah! Well, I mean, this looks like it's over. It's it, it's over, alright. It's slow-mo exploding for me. Alright, score 842. I don't know how they calculate that. But one last explosion marks your fate as your ship is torn apart. Thank you all for watching. This was a very long video. I don't plan to do them all this long in the future. But... FTL isn't really a game where you can pause and pick up and have it all feel the same way. But thank you all for watching. Come back and watch again if you enjoyed what you saw. Bye.